dude, I got my candy wolf necklace on because, dude, we got some sweetie candy vigilante books. Dude, I've been trying to collect every single issue of volume one, all the covers. Dude, and after this, updating my app. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the Haunted Basement Studio. I'm your host, Triple B, and in this hardcore comic book unboxing video, I even got my candy wolf necklace on. I got this package right here that I'm getting ready to rip open. And I got this mystery tin pack. So let me rip it open. And you guys look absolutely amazing today. You know what's not amazing? Is this COVID test that I got right here. So I'm waiting for the results. So if you want to see if I got COVID, stick around to the end. And I do hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. Rip. And let's see what's in here. Oh, it's in there kind of tight. Just like I like it. Yeah. Ooh. Quiet with there. All right, man. Sorry about this little bagging. Now, as I get it out of this bag, I do remember a little bit of these. But, man, check out this. Savage Red Sonia. This is an exclusive cover, an incentive inclusive cover. There's only a hundred of these made and it even comes with the certification right there. And these are website only purchases, but I was lucky enough to purchase from the experience show where they do offer their viewers. And if you don't know about the experience, I'll leave their link in the description below. They're on YouTube, but man, Holy crap, that thing is amazing. There is just so much going on with this cover. I mean, just look at it. It's like you're in like little China or something and all of a sudden you just got Red Sonia just chilling right there, man. It looks like it's a black and white cover with the color trade dress on it. But man, dude, I got my candy wolf necklace on because, dude, we got some sweetie candy vigilante books. Dude, I've been trying to collect every single issue of volume one, all the covers. Dude, and after this, updating my app, I think uh, I got some more coming on the way. But with these ones, it's going to push it up. I think there's about 80 to 85 total covers. Right now, I'm going to be pushing close to 70 covers. Yes, 70 covers of the, of the six issues. I don't care, man. I love it. So let's check out that first one. Hell yeah, man, dude. Look at that. Oh, dude. I've been wanting this one so bad, and it's the version cover, too. Oh, my God, dude. I just love her holding up that wine glass, dude. And you got skeletons all around. And check out that necklace. Sweetie, baby. And this big old cleavage right there. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it, man. Hell yeah. And I bought this from the publisher, Dynamite Entertainment. I went directly to them because I couldn't find any of these covers. If I did, I wanted a really good condition. And these are going to be coming in close at 9.8. You guaranteed 9.6. Oh, man. I've been wanting this one so bad. Dude, look at that thing. Oh, hell yeah, dude. With another version cover, man. You got to love those virgins. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Dude, look at her lips right there with some fangs coming out. Dude, that thing's amazing. And especially with the sweetie necklace. Hell yeah, dude. Volume 2 comes out February, what, 12th or 14th. So you guys better jump on it. Oh, man. Check that one out. All right. It's more like, oh, this is like the other version cover. But this one's like, you're not black and white. And the other one's color with her. Let's put them up side by side. Oh, man. Dude. Hell yeah, that thing is freaking sweet, just like you. Now, let me get this mystery 10 pack open because I have no idea what's in this. And it's my favorite time of the week when I can rip a mystery 10 pack open. I have no idea what's in here. Maybe there's some FOC covers. Maybe there's an incentive cover. Maybe there's another Sweetie Candy Vigilante cover. Vampirilla cosplay cover. I don't know, but let's do it. All right, man, just to let you guys know what I do as I order these mystery 10 packs from Dynamite and I'm trying to fill in 
all of the runs that I get. There's so many six issue titles that you can get and I just love trying to fill in them. It's so much fun doing it this way because I never know what I'm going to get. And you can always get an FOC or an incentive cover. What do we got here? We're going to go fast with this, okay? We got cover D. Yeah, baby, dude. It's a Vampirilla Strikes. Oh, man. Dude, look at that thing. It's issue number nine. And I do not have this one. And that's perfect because Vampirilla Strike is a longer run than the six issue li limited series. It's more of a long one. I think it's about 18 to 25 issues. I can't remember off the top of my head. But man, that thing is stunning. And we're just getting started in this one. What do we got here? It's Dark and Haunted Basement Studio Cover B. Let's check it out. What is this? Look at this. King Kong. The Great War, issue number four. Dude, I do not even know about this series. Oh, that thing is freaking rad. Oh, I can't wait to check out this one and add it to my app. Dude, I do not have this one. Man, it looks like it's in pretty damn good condition. So, hell yeah. All right, man, what do we got next? What do we got next? It says it's a cover. It, it did. It says it's an FOC bonus cover. L. Hell yeah, let's look at it together. Oh, yeah, dude, we got that Ken Hazer TMNT homage cover with Jennifer Blood, issue number five. Again, I think I already own this one, but I'm trying to, like, get multiple copies where it's a little mini collection of its own where you can get all these TMNT homage covers by Ken Hazer. So, hell yeah, man, can definitely add that to the box. All right, man. What do we got? We got a cover C. All right, let's see what it is together. Oh, is that a Barbarella? It is. Let me look at it with my own eye. Oh, it's a Sinner Cannot Hold. Issue number five. Man, that thing is absolutely crazy looking. You know what? I've been collecting these ones. I'm only missing maybe one or two. I don't know if I have issue number five. So I'm going to have to update my app. And if I do have the run completed, a stamp will come up on that screen in the editing process of this video. All right, dude. Dude, I'm so jam. I'm so, I got freaking goosebumps, man. I, I don't know why. I just love it, dude. We got a cover D. Oh, dude, a Betty Page. Oh, my God, issue number four, dude. Look at that. That thing is absolutely gorgeous. Dude, is that a Lendrix Lee? It's got to be. And it says it's a Lendrix Lee cover. Man, you got to know it's a Lendrix Lee cover. Man, my eyes do not deceive me. Oh, my God, dude. That thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, man, what we got next? It says it's a cover E. Ooh, let's look at it. Vampirilla Strong! Oh, fuck! Oh my, oh my god, dude. I've never seen this cover before. Dude, is that a cosplay? What is this? Dude, I have to look at the back right now. That thing is absolutely gorgeous, man. Let's just look. Vampirilla Strikes, man. Issue number 11. It's a photo cosplay! It is, man! Hell yeah! I'll put the the name of the cosplayer up right there but dude it almost looks like a freaking drawing doesn't it but man that ass is too nice to be a drawing hell yeah fucking love the cosplayers love them all right man we got a red back cover so that means it's going to be one of the newer ones and it's issue number e so let's oh fuck oh my god dude Oh, dude, this mystery 10 pack covers are absolutely stunning. I cannot believe that. Look at that cover. Holy bleak, Batman. Man, and it's issue number one of Red Sonia. Oh, I got to look up the volume. I'll put the volume up there on the screen because I don't think I have. Oh, dude, I definitely don't have this cover, and it's a white cover and only a little couple spine ticks there. So it's in great condition. Hell yeah, man. I'm stoked, dude. I'm stoked. We got a few more left. We got another red back cover. It is issue number C. Let's look at it. Dude, it's a fatal exam, fucking Sheena. It is Queen of... Yes, dude. Issue number four, man. I have, like, all of these. Damn, look at that cover. It's a Sue Dam cover, man. Oh, look at her right there. Look at her. She's like... On the log, getting ready to fight this lion that's standing up with chains on it. Oh, my God. So, like, 
I this is a new series, and with these mystery 10 packs, I'm able to own all of them so far. And that is perfect because I can start reading these ones, man. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, Fatal Exam. Is it a slasher? I kind of looked at the first issue, but I mean, that was like, you know, a few months ago, but man, I am just, I'm stoked, dude. I'm stoked, dude. Let's see what, it, what what's it say? Dude, it says FOC bonus cover right here. Bonus cover D. All right, man, let's look at it together. Let's look at it. Oh, it's a Draculina can hazer in TMNT homage. Whoa, look at her. Oh my God, dude. She's just chilling right there. I love Draculina. And it's an issue number one. Oh man, this fucking mystery tap. I got to bleep that out, man. I'm swearing too much, but I'm so damn excited. Ooh, with a Ken Hazer, man. Oh, one more, dude. It can't, it can't get any better than what we've already got. But it can! Holy shit! It says bonus cover. FOC number K. Now let's look at it together. I can't believe all these FOC cover. Oh! It's a purgatory! Yes! Oh man, it's the issue number five purgatory. Check her out when she's all demonized, dude. Oh my god, dude. That thing is freaking it's dark. But oh my god, thing is so amazing. That thing is absolutely awesome. Holy crap, dude. I'm gonna have to go through all these covers and do the cover showdown and how this is gonna work. I'm gonna put three covers up on the screen. Cover A, cover B, and cover C. And all you gotta do is tell me in the comment section below which one is your favorite. And remember, there is no wrong answer. Oh my god, I totally forgot to show you the COVID test, so let's look at it together. Is that two lines on there? Oh my God, I'm positive for COVID-19. How do I feel this good? It's because when you got those sweetie candy vigilante books, nothing can bring you down, not even COVID-19. <laughs> All right, man, you made it to the cover showdown and so did I. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Cover A is gonna be Vampirilla Strikes, issue number 11 with the cosplay cover things absolutely gorgeous she's just making me want to come to her she mesmerizing me cover b is gonna be red sonia issue number one man that thing is absolutely gorgeous i love just her on a white cover you cannot go wrong with that cover c is gonna be sweetie candy vigilante issue number three with the virgin cover Man, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. I love the Virgin covers. Now, you tell me in the comment section below which one was your favorite cover. It could be anyone in the video or it can be what I put on the showdown. Now, get those off the screen. My favorite cover of the cover showdown is going to go down to Sweetie Candy Vigilante issue number three. Man, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen anything like that with the skeleton holding that wine glass and her face is half skeleton. Man, that thing is absolutely gorgeous, just like you. And remember, if you want to see any more comic book unboxing videos, you can watch one of the ones right over there. And you can hit that subscribe button with that effing bell. Then you'll be notified on my next unboxing video because I absolutely enjoy this and I love it. And I love you guys. And you just remember, you keep it hardcore comics.